Hi, my name is Keith Cooper, Northlight Images, and this short video is answering a question I was asked by somebody the other day. Should I use CMYK for my printing? Now, this was somebody who was converting their images from RGB of some sort into CMYK to print. And the simple answer is no, unless you have a good reason and you know why to use CMYK in your printing process with normal inkjet printers. This is a Canon Pro 200, but it covers any of the printers I've looked at recently. Unless you know why you need to use CMYK and it is a special case, and you will know why if you need to use it, then no, you absolutely do not need to use it. Um, it's a surefire way of making rubbish prints. And I know it seems obvious. Why do people seem think CMYK? Well, if I look at this printer here, if I look at the inks, what inks has it got in it? Well, it has a magenta, pale cyan, yellow, black, gray, pale magenta, light gray, and cyan. So we've got C, cyan, M, magenta, Y, yellow, K, black. Now it's always been called that K for black. There are lots of different reasons why it's suggested that that, but it's CMYK, it's black. Seems fairly obvious here. These are mixtures of CMYK inks. Okay, we've got a, a gray, which could be thought of as a light black. We've got a pale cyan, which is a light cyan. Seems reasonable enough. If we want to get the printer to print, work in CMYK. Well, no, the printer inks themselves do not match to the data that the printer and the printer driver expects to be sent. Printing in CMYK accurately and well is quite tricky. It's the basis of commercial print. Uh, you may come across it in commercial print applications, but even then be very wary of it. I see lots of problems that instantly are answered by saying you shouldn't be using CMYK here. I know people in graphic design, a lot of other things, people think they should, but quite often they don't really need to use it. As I said, if you really need to use CMYK, you will know why. Now, printers, I've said they're RGB devices. Now, red, green, blue, that's a monitor. Here's a monitor of a test image. Here's a print of a test image. When this image, which is in an RGB format, red, green, blue, when that is sent to the printer driver, it's converted in the printer driver to the appropriate amounts of CMYK inks. Now, in this case, we've also got the light colors, we've got the gray in it. So there's quite a complex mix of inks. So there's no direct link between CMYK colors and actual ink levels. And that's one of the problems that people get into with this. So they just make this assumption that CMYK is something to use. It isn't, I'm afraid. Now, we in fact never ever use it. If a client contacts us and says, I want these images you're producing in CMYK, my first question, and we have a whole series of questions that we'll ask, which will show whether we're dealing with someone who truly understands what they're doing with or not, is to say, what version of CMYK? Now, if this elicits a sort of, huh? or some similar response, we know that we really shouldn't be sending CMYK images to these. In fact, we will only send CMYK images to people on receipt of full written specifications. Yes, that is covering our rear just in case things go wrong because things do go wrong, careless use of CMYK. One other little bit, converting from RGB to CMYK, easily done. You can do it in Photoshop, for example. Even there, it helps to know which version of CMYK you're converting. It's essentially a one-way conversion. Uh, information is lost. Keep your images as RGB images as long as you can. When you print, print them. You use a printer profile for ideal quality of printing. Printer profiles are made just by lots of color patches like this. Printed out, measured, software produces a profile. That profile converts effectively from the RGB of your image in whatever color space it's in to the RGB required by the printer driver. The printer driver takes care of all the conversions to anything else, so you don't need to do it. Now, 
hopefully that's blunt enough and short enough. Um, so anyone thinking of using CMYK, don't. If you think you should, do you know why? If you don't, then don't. Anyway, I hope that's of use. Any other questions, and please do ask. Um, they're quite often I get sent questions or comments on the video, and they just lead me to make short videos like this, because if two people ask a similar question, lots of other people must be asking it as well, and they just haven't asked. So thanks again. Please do subscribe to the channel if you find it useful, and uh, thank you.